Now this thing is called the Bat QX105 and this has all the bells and all the whistles that you could possibly throw on a brushless racer right now for under a hundred bucks. This thing sells for about 80 bucks. It's actually using a brand new cordless uh, 1020 motor instead of the uh, standard 8.5 by 20 millimeter motor so it's got a much more powerful motor on there and of course it's got a uh, plug-and-play motor and everything on this flight controller is plug-and-play all four motors have plugs on them the uh, beeper actually has a plug on it the tail light strip has a plug on it and the uh, camera also has a plug on it and this is Eshin's brand new all-in-one camera with the uh, built-in on-screen display so it's got the uh, wires there for the on-screen display. It's got a little button on there for you to quickly press and uh, change through channels. And you hold it down to uh, change through frequencies. And it's got a button on the front that you can press to uh, flip the video image up and down. It's a really nice camera. The only downside was this specific camera came with the entire lens broken off. So, All right, I get to test the brand new Bat QX105 from Eshin. If I'm able to reattach the camera lens to the camera sensor there, because unfortunately our camera lens seemed to break off during shipping. So we will test this one if we can piece this camera back together. Looks like a nice aircraft though, doesn't it? I had to try and reattach that so some of the flight video may be a little bit blurry. But the camera itself I know is a really nice camera. It's the same camera that they used on the Ishin Aurora here and this is a really nice little ducted fan aircraft it's a really smooth fun easy to fly racer everything about it's really nice other than the really fragile propellers but uh, check out our review on that it's a really nice little aircraft but this is a uh, brushed motor aircraft and it's the latest in the QX line it started back in the day with the QX90 I say back in the day it's been you know about a year since they've been producing these but the technology has really advanced a lot. You'll see with the QX90 here, they used a uh, flight controller and a uh, separate receiver. The camera has been upgraded significantly. Um, there is a newer version of the QX90, the QX90C here, and you can actually fit one of these all-in-one cameras with the on-screen display on this QX90C here as well, and you can put the same all-in-one flight controller in here. So. Um, other than the motors, you know, this is actually, out of all of the QX90 micros under 100 millimeters, this is probably one of the best out there because we tested out the EX105 and the EX110, and I think EX stands for extra because it just seems like they had a bunch of extra, you know, flight controllers and receivers because you'll see that this uses the separate flight controller and separate receiver and the older camera and older motors and these frames are really 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 flimsy it's just extremely thin carbon fiber and neither one of these aircraft really made it more than 10 minutes worth of flight before something broke on it uh, this one's got a broken frame on it um, this one had a broken motor on it within you know the first five minutes and all the propellers that came with them were flying off as soon as I would take off, so they were just all way too loose. But the uh, Bat QX105 actually uses a newer propeller. It's just slightly larger. You can see there it's just, you know, about 8-10 millimeters larger there. But the larger propellers, the larger motor, you know, give it a lot more power, but it is still using the same 600 milliamp 3.7 volt battery. Um, you can get uh, 7.4 volt batteries with the same connector and you can get a flight controller that actually is capable of handling this battery and it's the flight controller actually that they used and the uh, fat B right here. So if you wanted to you could build an aircraft like this with these motors and have a two cell 7.4 volt battery and I'm curious when uh, Eshin is going to do that but you know, altogether, I have to say, this aircraft was, you know, the Bat 105 really handled itself really nicely, and I love the plugs on here. I've unplugged the beeper, and that's why it's not beeping at us really loud, but um, it's even got a uh, bind button that's uh, built in, so 
unlike the uh, EX105 and the EX110, these you actually have to take a little piece of metal and you have to uh, connect two solder joints on the uh, receiver while holding down the bind button to bind it to your transmitter. But this thing's really easy to bind to a transmitter and you know the video signal I have to say actually looks pretty good. I really do like this tiny little all-in-one camera. You know it works with all my uh, FPV goggles and FPV glasses really well. I really do like this FPV camera. It's a really nice all-in-one FPV camera and video transmitter. The on-screen display gives you the ability to monitor your voltage in real time. It's got the uh, artificial horizon built in. And, you know, I mean, I, I think it works really well for the price. I think you're going to start seeing it on more and more Yixin aircraft. Um, even with the lens broken off this one, I was able to glue it back on and, you know, get a pretty decent picture. Okay, let's test out the BAT QX105. I will say this, it's handling the wind all right. Handles that sharp turn all right. Able to fly through that cabana. We probably got a good solid 15 mile per hour breeze here. Much better video reception now on this channel. So this camera's doing all right. On-screen display is doing all right. Not the best pass through there. Let's try going around the track once and see if the static will get us or a little bit of static right there. Three point one volts, jumping between three point one, three point zero, drop down to two point nine. There, it's nice. Oh, there's my beeper. So there's my voltage when it's going to kick in. Oh, and yet we are down. Now we got to make the walk of shame. Go pick them up. So that is my flight time right there at about three minutes and let's see if I can get him to beep and beep. He should be beeping at me. Last I saw him he was over here in this general vicinity. I do not hear him beeping and I do not see him. Where, oh, where has my little aircraft gone? Oh, where, oh, where can it be? Oh, where, oh, where did it go? Here it is. Oh, seems like my voltage dropped so low that my beeper is just making a really sad noise. So let's pull that battery out. Did all right. We do have another battery that we can try it out with. So let's try out another battery. He was doing all right there. Okay, once around the track. That's really about as far as I want to push his range. I'll probably go a little bit further, but start to see static on that turn there. Strong 15 mile per hour 
handling the strong wind, the strong wind pretty well. That was the that was that tree again. Same spot. Watch that corner. Those hard banking turns, all right. Yeah, this thing can really bank. I mean, yeah, this thing can really bank. there and we are down. We are down. Let's go back there. Why did my video signal stop? Why did my video signal stop? Did the camera antenna break off? Did my lens break? Oh no my battery came off. Okay well we're where oh where is my battery gone? Oh where oh where can you be? We found you here. At this. Sorry guys, grab that from me there. Well it actually uh, handled that uh, pretty nicely there. Say it was the breeze that knocked me off course, but uh, you know it was also you know, a little bit of pilot here. There. But uh, this camera's working alright. Let's see if we can make sure everything's still working. Like we're still flying. Definitely handling pretty nice. I'm enjoying this uh, heads up display here. Really helping me keep track of my voltage, voltage spikes. About to have to bring it in because yeah, we're pushing down to 3.1, 3.2 volts. That wind is really, really heavy. Okay, this thing is programmed for fast flight, not really programmed for stable, smooth hovering. Let's see if we can bring it for a landing here. go. That is the Isheen Bat QX105. All the bells, all the whistles. That's, uh, that's the amalgamation of the QX series right there. Everything that they could possibly add on it. Uh, next year they'll probably have GPS. So that's the QX105 from Isheen. Definitely a nice little aircraft. It handled those turns really well. Lots of speed. I could probably pull a lot more speed out of it. Um, could probably trim some weight off here and get a little bit more flight time out of it, but these batteries are pretty standard, so definitely a nice little all-in-one aircraft. So that's the Isheen Bat QX105 and the Isheen EX105 and the Isheen EX110. And when it comes to spending your money on these, I mean, you're going to spend 80 bucks on this Bat 105 here. You're going to spend about 55 bucks on this guy here and about the same on this guy. 
but I mean, you're going to get about 10 minutes of flight out of one of these and one good hard crash before you break that frame. Same with this guy. I mean, he's got a little bit more space on him, but really, spend the extra money, buy the Bat 105, you know, get the on-screen display, you get the beeper, you know, you have the ability to plug motors in and plug in the light bar and the beeper and the camera as opposed to having, you know, to solder everything in place, which is a really nice feature. And when it comes to flight time, I mean, they all use the same 3.7 volt, you know, single cell batteries, and they all get about, you know, uh, a little less than five minutes of hardcore flight. If you're just flying around the house, then you're going to get, you know, about five, six minutes worth of flight. If you're really outside and you're really pushing it, you're going to get, you know, maybe about four or four and a half minutes worth of good flight with uh, the Bat QX105 here. Now this Falcon right here from Esheen, this can actually beat a Wizard X220. What do you think, man? Man, I've been building these little machines for a while. I guess the past year. And I've never seen anything fly this fast, this small. He smoked the shit out of that wizard. That wizard is a witch. That wizard point. is a fucking bitch. This he was <laughs> flying before I even flew. This, no, 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 here's the deal. We was going the opposite direction for the first three minutes. No, 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 no. But see, the deal was, like, after y'all got on the same track, he lapped you, like, twice. See, I couldn't tell where you were at, and I couldn't tell where I was. I, I didn't have know to, where he was at. I have to rely on y'all's word as to, and he was, he was observing. Dude, he was the observing. Uh, y'all got once y'all got on the same path, you were in front of him, and then he passed you twice to a figure eight surround. That's these two houses. This thing is fast as shit. Were you at full throttle? <laughs> I, I had to push that to full throttle again. I want to know how you were flying like, like that there. with this this camera angle, dude. I was. How? What was my angle at when I was flying? Like that? <laughs> yeah. I was still able to see the horizon. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, I could still see the horizon. Plus, you, man, you're like making razor sharp turns. Yeah. Like, that, that's where I think that in a long run, the wizard prop, like, if you guys were drag racing in the long run, the wizard probably would have got you. But he couldn't fly around the track going full throttle like this thing did. And if you can go around the track full throttle and yeah. still maintain control, that's it, right? There. That's why that's you won the race. Holy shit, look at that thing go. <laughs> Damn, I'm getting a good Damn. signal. Fritz. Bro, he's smoking your ass. <laughs> Wait, that's what I was gonna ask. Oh, you guys are flying like. I don't know y'all stacks on. Jesus that. Christ, that thing is hauling ass! <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! Oh, yeah. That thing is hauling <laughs> ass! I'm oh my god! I think he turned on the burners just long enough to stay away. Yeah, I was gonna say that little thing is Oh, man. This little thing is awesome. I only hope that that this thing, it's, it's the new one, it's the, uh, I think on YouTube, it's like the GBX 210 slash Firehawk. Firehawk? Uh, I only hope that it's as fast as this, but this thing is pretty intense. This is going to be the WB03, right? This right? Is, at that point, that's the WB04. WB04? WB03 is dead. Like, I, I crashed at that house, so it's, it's, not, it's not coming back. It will be in part two. <laughs> <laughs> 
So it's definitely a nice aircraft, definitely a nice power to weight ratio. I mean, this is really where it's at right here. I mean, this is my type of racer. So as far as racers go right now in February of 2017, you know, this I think is where it's at right now. Of course, technology is always advancing, but this size, this power, this weight, you know, I think this is the type of racer you should really try and pick up, you know. But of course, if you want to race around the house and around the office, you know, and outside, something like the QX90C here is really good for that. And of course, if you really want to try and compete pretty much everywhere, you know, the bat right here, this QX105, I mean, it's really able to do some good hardcore outdoor racing. You know, you can do some nice indoor racing. They have programmed this with beta flight. Uh, it looks like they have pretty much committed all the way to beta flight. All of these are programmed with beta flight, so no more clean flight. But it's still a very nice performing aircraft. It's more geared towards outdoor hardcore performance. So if you want to do indoor racing and indoor flying, you might actually want to go through and tweak your settings a little bit. But altogether, it's a really nice aircraft. Definitely worth checking out. As always, we appreciate you tuning in to RC101 with the Dallas Flyer. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and stay tuned for more.